Hey guys, how y'all doing? This is Dream Moose Tarot here, here for another reading for the sign of Sagittarius. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribe, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome. I mean, cross watchers, grab a seat. Alright, I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you. Continue for your subscribes and your comments, your likes. Greatly appreciate it, okay? All is welcome. Um... Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. There's no time in um, tarot and no gender in tarot. This is why I highly recommend that you guys subscribe, subscribe. All right? Ancestors Universe is not um, waiting. Um, got two cards already laid out as we speak. We need one more. All right? Please and thank you. Ancestors, Angels, Universe. Any messages you'd like for me to relay back to the sign of Sagittarius, please and thank you. Please and thank you. One more. Thank you. Thank you. Ask and you shall receive. Ain't that right? I mean, at times. Let's, you know. I have a baby on the way. Maybe. And that time, take what resonates. This person. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's get back together, please. This person made a mistake. My children are affecting our connection. Sag. This person is holding on to some secrets. Okay. And they want your forgiveness. And I don't know if you're ready to even forgive this person. I don't think you're ready to forgive this person. Their energy, them stepping out, caused the relationship to curve. And now they're stuck. So there's two scenarios, okay? You guys, there's some Sagittarius who has a child on the way. And it's going to affect you guys in the long run because it was at a time where you guys were establishing where you guys were at. And this person didn't fully want to give in all the way that they stepped out and didn't know that stepping out will cause them to, if they're not having unprotected sex, what do you think happens? Kids come. And they know that this is going to affect you, but yet they want you because their feelings are with you. But then they do have some tendencies wrongfully habits especially at times when they know they're supposed to be divide like only devoted to you okay and there's some other Sagittarius who are dealing with someone who's just not as faithful as you as they perceive to be not you because of course you're going to accept what it is that they feel if you love someone if they're telling you something, you don't you don't want to feel like you got to interrogate interrogate them on is it true? You know, do you really love me? Are you, is it only me? All these all these feelings, all these emotions come into play, and you don't know what it is that this person is seeking when it comes to you. This person wants to get back with you. Whatever it is, the mistake that they did in the past, they want to come back. This person has not let you go energetically. They haven't. And for those who does, it's not about children, don't even, you know, take that. But I am talking about some that do have children involved and it is an issue. Because if it's not baby father drama, if it's not mom, baby mama drama, there's some type of drama that leads to someone else in the equation. And you're tired of it. You're just about tired of it. And this is why this person is wanting and begging and hoping and allowing things to calm down before they come to you and give you an offer. Now it's up to you, Sagittarius, are you going to take it? Because this person has made mistakes. 
and they're owning up to these mistakes. But you're questioning, should you accept it if they come along? Because I feel like whatever it is that is in the dark will definitely always come to the light. No matter how much people try to bury it. Okay? But we're going to dive more into it. And some telling me to continue with these, these cards that I started with. Okay? To really feel how this person feels. Then this is different for me, okay? Because, hello. <sighs> like, it, it, it's a lot going on, okay? <sighs> My friends tell me lies about you. So, this person must have thought or heard, listened to gossips, listened to things that people were saying, felt like you didn't care for them. So they venture off. This is what I'm saying. Why are you sitting there listening to other people that ain't even in a relationship? Those who ain't even in a relationship has so much advice to give. Are you bitter, ma'am? Sir? I mean, these people that don't are not to not with anyone who hasn't been in a relationship for quite some time have the audacity to be ready to give you suggestions or advice that you don't you don't need and then there you go stirring yourself in a direction that you know you don't need to be heading or you know you would have not been heading there if you really reevaluated what your thoughts felt like or your feelings felt like. But yet you go there because your friends or your cousins or, you know, people have, that you're close to, that you care about, that they you know that they care about you has told you. Be mindful of what you feel. Know what it is that you feel. Because... I'm kind of feeling like this person already was dealing with someone and didn't want to lose you, met you, didn't want to lose you, okay? And because things are involved and you are attached to certain people, okay, is why this per well, they're attached to certain people, but they don't want to let you go, it's up to you. Sex with you is mind-blowing. So in an intimate level, you guys make this person go beyond what they're feeling. Go beyond what they're feeling. Okay? But this person's harboring a secret that is going to come into light. Okay? Sex magic is controlling me. Yeah. This person is into... Has... Certain tendencies and habits and addictions, that is what's messing up this connection. This person likes intimate, and I don't want to use intimate because intimate is for people who like really have a soul connection to someone, okay? This person just likes sex and they kind of had an oopsie. And and they, and and they get a in some cases they could have you know been pregnant or also even caught a disease and you don't want no one who's flip flop or who you know who's subject to being vulnerable to friends or others you don't want that type of connection Sag you don't and this could be you know cross just this could be your Sag doing this to you but. This person wants you, yes, want to reconcile and get things in order, but have they stopped all of these tendencies that they have? Have they stopped feeling of wanting and having these urges? Are they, are they controlled? This is what you have to ask yourself. Can this person really control what it is that their urges and what it is that they're feeling towards other people. Because they should only be vulnerable and only be, you know, like, custom to being with you and not with other people. So be mindful of what it is that you choose when it comes to this person. Because this person's sloppy. I gotta call it what it is. I'm not holding. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. 
this person has some tendencies and some wants and some urges. And you don't want to be with someone that can't control what it is. If you can't wait for me to climax, what am I sitting here waiting for? You don't need me if you got other want people that's wanting you and if I'm not able to come visit you you go call somebody else then what am I here for be careful be careful who it is you let you lay next to be careful who you let into your soul be careful who you let into you your temple for it's important she made me have a whole attitude but that's all I have for you, Sag. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please take care of yourself. Namaste. Peace. <laughs> like, yo.